And now it's the vibrate the rate at which we're vibing. <laughs> Felt good. I ain't did it in a minute. Felt like Rick Flair. Whoa. <laughs> but anyway, uh, impacts to to impasse you know and i done said this in past videos where you know we gotta become stronger and stop seeing ourselves as weak or oh this energy around me is so overwhelming somebody come help me please you know <laughs> we gotta move out of that vibration and be stronger and also we gotta recognize the situations that that we call upon ourselves. And I want to speak a little bit on briefing back to the situation with a uh, covert narcissist, but in essence, how we just one of the reasons why we invite energy vamps is because of our own energy we have to deal with. It may not necessarily, in most cases, is is a never really a codependent relationship in essence. But uh, say, for instance. One of the reasons is that an empath, and I know some of y'all feel like this, I know I felt like this on my journey, where you kind of feel like your love could fix everybody. And what's funny, it's somewhat of a pride situation, you know, because it's like a, being a prideful empath, like, oh, you know, to a certain extent, because part of it is being uh, ignorant on your spiritual growth, thinking that love, you know, just because I'm a loving being, all I got to do is just show this person love and this just gonna help them and it, you know it, it's an ignorance of that too you know where you just you know ignorant to how the energy moves and how it works you know but in a lot of cases we put ourselves in these situations because we think we could fix everything with with love or that our energy and our love could fix this situation you know and that's a that's one of the mistakes that we could fall into as a matter of fact kind of like i remember one time feeling like a like a guru that you know where well, i had to help everybody or i had to you know fix you know this person's situation or help and when i say fit you know for lack of a better word you know but help this person on their growth and like i having that feeling like it's your duty you know what i'm saying and it's like like nah you know it's not your duty in that essence you know the people who is meant for you to teach or people that's meant to learn from you is going to gravitate towards you you know and it's going to be easy it's not going to be a situation where you know you got to have to force things upon people but uh as one thing was kind of like the cocky impact like my love could fix everything you know and that's like a false premise where we'll end up putting ourselves in situations around energy vamps thinking that we could fix this energy vamp that we could fix this narcissist or uh, like you know like oh uh, with the power of source i'd be able to you know and it's like nah like some battles is not meant for you to uh to be in <laughs> and with that situation you know again like through through ignorance of thinking that you know you're early on your goal you just think you just you just finished learning that unconditional love is one of the strongest energies in the universe and that you know it conquers all so you you know you kind of you know vibing with that and you feeling that you could use that for all situations like all right unconditional love rule over all so all i gotta do is just no matter how evil or how a person i just show them unconditional love which of course you do show unconditional love cause that's what it is under uh no matter the condition i love this person but it's an ignorance to feel that it could fix everything and everybody, you know, and that's one of the things that we, you know, that's how we fall into that trap of, you know, being around a, a narcissist, energy vamps, people of this nature is because we think we could fix them, you know what I'm saying? And our subconscious, you know, subconsciously we, we could do, we could fix everything, you know. But you can't turn everybody into a nice person just because of your sheer presence, you know, it's, you know, it's a little more than that. And and that's one of the things, another, you know, again, like, you know, and pride and cockiness is a lack of a better word. And, some, and it's in some cases, some of us are just, again, ignorant to, 
you know, to how the energy really works. So we just so happy to love and to care. And, you know, we think it's going to take care of everything and everybody. You know, it's not the case and we end up getting that rude awakening. But, you know, we we create those situations ourselves. Another way, though, just on a codependency level, dealing with uh, covert narcissists, is we fall into these invisible contracts, you know, which I created my, I told my brethren, you know, with our situation, I was like, you know, and that's another thing, I always realize, man, this is something, this is the inner universe, this is not, you know, put it like this, is not that person in essence. Now, some cases it may be, but like I book on, I was like, man, it's some soul contract stuff that we signed up for. <laughs> like really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you find yourself going through something with somebody or anything of that nature, or where you gotta, you gotta kind of grow to get out of the situation, then y'all y'all signed up for this on the on the other side, you know, before like, hey, we're gonna create this situation, I'm gonna have to do this to move on, this and that, you know, but with uh what I was gonna say with me and my brethren, you know, realizing that I, you know, that's the thing. I, anytime I see any situation that, you know, outside of me that seems like is, you know, bothering me or coming at me some kind of way, I always go within and first thing I start analyzing like all right am I vamping anybody this and that and I realized too and then the universe how it works you know sending YouTube videos my way well I come across a video that uh speaks on that codependency of like where we'll have like a secret contract like all right without saying you know basically like a uh, uh what is called I, the, the word, I don't know why, uh, passive aggressiveness to to delivering your love or passive aggressiveness to your boundaries. Passive aggressiveness to your boundary setting where you don't verbally say, hey, you know, I really like this, I really like that. You kind of just be nice and loving in the hopes, you know, that this person is going to you know, recognize your needs and wants without you saying, you know, like, kind of like, all right, I'm going to just be nice, you know, I'm going to stay, this and that, and through the through the grace of the universe, this person is going to, you know, and it's like, nah, because that's another thing, too. The universe is going to take care of you, of course, but who's to say is that person that you're trying to be nice to, you know, that person mess around and use you up, you get it from somewhere else, but you're giving that niceness, thinking it's going to come directly from that person, it's like, you know like nah but that's one of the codependencies that we uh relationships that we get into is these unwritten contracts or these little agreements where you kind of feel like all right uh, you know as an empath i'm gonna be nice and show this person love and they're gonna see it and they're gonna be nice and do the right things by me also and it's like nah man everybody you know again though this is a growth you know you gotta go through you know, the dips and dives, you know, in order to see what's really going on and see how to carry yourself moving forward. But, you know, that that's one of those codependencies that, you know, one of those uh, situations we create, you know, through that little silent contract. So we got to speak up, you know, empaths. We can't go around people just thinking, all right, I'm going to just be nice and then they're going to take care of all this, you know what I'm saying? Which, and I spoke a little bit about that when I was like, uh, other people taking care of the tasks of the other chakras but it's it's not exactly the same you know it's a difference to it but in essence it's kind of like that uh it's similar but different because you know with that part you're not like you know hint hint wink wink agreements with you know with other people being a chakra video like what i talked about with the uh other people taking uh taking up the tasks of your chakras but with the codependency relationship, you are kind of like, uh, again, passive aggressive, like, well, you aggressively, in essence, inside of you want this person to respect you, show you love and give something back to you, but you're being passive with the, the expression of it, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be quiet and then kind of just allow that person, you know, to kind of try to pick, pick out the signals instead of just keeping it real and letting that person know, hey, this is how I you know, want to be treated in this situation. I don't deal with this. You know, I want to go here. I'm, I'm like this, you know, like instead of speaking up on it, you just passively, aggressively sending hints, you know, 
And matter of fact, again with empaths because we be trying to dodge confrontation and like I tell you straight up, like it, it never works out. You gotta be up front, you gotta be fearless. You know, part of being with one with sources, being fearless and confronting these people, these situations and setting these boundaries or else it's gonna eat you alive, like literally. Like y'all know what it feel like to not have proper boundaries set. <laughs> It feel like you just sitting in the pot and somebody cooked, you know, turn the heat up all the way like you just matter of fact, but it's simmering and you slowly just, you know, dying on the inside <laughs> whenever the uh, boundary is not set. So, you know, want to be courageous and set these proper boundaries, you know, uh, empaths, you know, stop with the passive aggressive nature of hoping that because you're nice. Other people are gonna give you what you want and what you desire. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, we also have to. Uh, what was the other situation I was talking about earlier? Oh, and we also have to get out of that mode of feeling like I love. You know, of course, love does. You know, the higher vibrations. You know, raise above the lower vibrations. You know, but. <laughs> some situations is different from others because you know this person might have a, a lower vibration or a demon that's a little stronger you know than you in this moment like say fans you 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 may be a strong strong soul you know might be one of the strongest souls on earth but you just haven't reached that potential yet you know kind of like a gohan on, on uh dragon ball z that's why it's my favorite character because it reminds me of me having that potential but being nice and quiet you know whatever the case may be but you may have that potential to, you know, change everybody with just the vibration, change the world, of course. But you got to realize, though, it's, it's levels to it and you can't, I ain't going to say you can't, but it's just very difficult, you know, to just try to, oh, I'm a loving person, so this is going to change this person. Or try to forcefully, you know, like, all right, this person is mean or this person dealing with anger or let me just try to always show this person love. So, and then two... Even though you see it's kind of not working, you're still going back around and still putting yourself in energy vamping situations just to try to, quote unquote, fix this person or help this person, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, it ain't worth it. it ain't worth it. You know, so definitely empaths, we gotta look at ourselves in the mirror and, and say we're gonna be stronger, we're gonna be courageous, we're gonna stop inviting these situations in, in our vortex, you know? start being aware of our vibrations that may attract you know these vamps or these lower vibrations or any of these situations you know and for the most part that's why i always bring up throat chakra stones for empaths because i feel like one of the most important things for us and one of the most and one of the things that we we may slip up with in most cases is speaking up you know like that solar plexus carry the confidence that those chakra carry the vibration out you gotta speak with that confidence and set, set that boundary you know or else you know and matter of fact side of light uh honey cow site is good for that septarian is great for speaking up you know and speaking your mind if you're having trouble with that also grounding you want to be grounded you know people eat up off of your energy when you're not when you're not grounded, that's for everybody, not just an impact. Impact is even worse if we're not grounded for us, you know, but, you know, you got to ground yourself uh, with some hematite, tourmaline, uh, if you're a little advanced, black obsidian, <laughs> you know, but that's basically it, you know, just want to be aware of, of your inner universe and your inner self and always realize that whatever is going on outside you on a physical level, has something to do with what's going on on the inside of you 100% like there's no it's not even a 1% of like oh well maybe not no like 100% I get close in the camera like everything you think of everything that's on your conscious everything that your subconscious believes manifests in the physical around you if you find yourself not being able to deal with a person as a matter of fact, oh, before I end this video, I came across some interesting information with that. Like, well, some more information about twin flames and uh, and soulmates. Well, somebody brought an interesting perspective. Also, where uh, twin flames, 
uh, could also, in which I'm looking to, you know, Twin Flame or whether Soul made this and that, but, uh, matter of fact, the brethren Matt Khan, I think. Don't quote me, but I think that's the brethren name, Matt Khan. Uh, matter of fact, he, he uh, another brethren with great connections and channels, you know, you definitely could tell that brethren channel and information. But uh, he spoke on how, like, if any person we come across forces us to, and when we say force, quote unquote force, forces you to deal with some type of lesson or like, you know, it's something that you gotta, like you have to deal with this person, you have to deal with them in a spiritual growth and type of way, like you gotta grow in order to get past this person or get past what's bothering you with this person, you know, and you can see those people as like the twin flames, like uh, again, how I spoke on where you know, uh, me and my brethren was kind and I was like, you know, we probably had like some type, not probably, like we signed a, a soul contract like that we was gonna go through this, that I was gonna do this and teach you this lesson, you are gonna do this and teach me this lesson, you know, and but we had to, you know, do A and B to grow out of it, you know what I'm saying? And if you keep on denying A and B, you know, whatever it is you need to grow out of a situation, it just stays there and it gets worse and worse, you know. And then it and then what's funny, if if you uh try to dodge the lesson from from the uh twin flame that you're dealing with, then it'll come from somebody else. Like you can't you can't run away from yourself, you can't run away from your lessons. Like if you try to oh well I'm it's maybe it's just coming from this person. Let me just stop hanging or being around this person. Nah, that same you'll meet that same exact person, just a different person, you know what I'm saying, in essence. Showing you that you won't be able to, you know, like try to run from it. But in essence, like our twin flames are uh also because I spoke on how there are people that matches our vibrations, but also which uh, this is new information I added to it because I didn't have this information when I spoke on it before. But like, well, people who, you know, in our experiences, and you could be somebody to inflame in that same essence where you put somebody in a situation, quote unquote, put somebody in a situation to learn, you know, or y'all, uh, or that person does something again, like that's the, the inner, your inner universe being put projected outside of you and it's something that's maybe bothering you know, or whatever but you gotta you know grow in a certain place spiritually in order to get past that and stop that that time loop you know that time loop i always talk about like you know learning lessons if you don't learn it that time loop just wrap it back around and it come back quicker and quicker and stronger and stronger the more you ignore it you know? but that's all i have to say about that <laughs> i must have drunk about 15 dr peppers <laughs> My boy, my boy Blue. <laughs> uh, who far as gun? <laughs> that made me think about uh, old school. My boy Blue. But it's getting, it's getting pretty dark out here. So I'm gonna commence this video. <laughs> Peace. Happy now. Now is the vibrate. Not going too far in the future. We're not going too far in the past. Right now. And. Before I go again, I just thought about it, looking at the video, and it's like all about making it happen. Like no matter what your living situation is, no matter you know what's going on in in life, you know, is being one with your soul purpose, no matter what, and enjoying life, no matter what, you know. Like somebody, oh man, I I want to make sure all my videos in light are, you know, like, and which of course, you know. You want to make sure you do things the way you want to do them but just me thinking about my living situation now and you know kind of being nomadic but how like i'm gonna make sure i do my videos and make things happen i'm gonna find some wi-fi i'm gonna find some place to sit down with my computer and that's what it's all about because the universe sees that i am passionate about what i do and that comes back to you you know so don't, and don't never feel like you're you know no matter what your living situation is don't ever feel like the abundance stop like you are the abundance, you know, and that's where a lot of your well-being and happiness comes from is knowing that you are the walking abundance, you know, it's your inner vibration that creates the physical abundance that comes to you, you know, and just always remember that. Peace.